Have you been cleaning the filter on your Dyson? Did you even know it had one? I, like many other people, have this Dyson blow dryer, and I do love this thing. I like it a whole lot. I actually bought it from my stylist, and she bought one too. I told her that I was interested in one, and, and she said, well, I've been interested in one too. I'm going to get one. So she got one for both of us. And But when I went back to have my hair done, she said, I, I noticed her Dyson had changed. She had a different one, and I asked her why. She told me that she blew hers out. Now, she uses her Dyson a lot more than I do, obviously, but she blew it out because she didn't know she needed to change the filter and she said that she went back and checked the um, the literature that she received and there wasn't anything telling her to to clean the filter now I don't save any of my paperwork or the box so I don't know if there was something in there but I'm going to show you how to clean the filter on your Dyson it is so easy as you know this is a little different it it I don't need to do a video on what the Dyson does it's really cool there are lots of videos out there if you're not familiar with this but this is where the air comes in and this is what what you need to clean and yours may be silver or black it may look a little different but all you do is you just pull that down you just give it a little twist and you pull it down and this is it looks at first just like a metal piece, but it is a filter. And you can just, I'll give you a close up of it in a minute, but you can just clean it. Mine is clean now, but I just sort of just brushed it off with my hand and um, took a little cloth to it. If it was really bad, I'm sure you could take a you know wet cloth to it and air it out. But that's all you have to do. And if you don't, you may blow your Dyson out eventually. So this stays on this um, cord when you do that and then you just push it back up and there's a little red dot i guess that has to line up oh nice there we go I, on mine there's a red dot in the front on the filter and a black dot in the back and so you just twist it off and then put it back on i'll give you a close-up of it uh, i'm not sure that you can see that but it's an easy thing to just clean off and then you just put it back on and twist and mine has a red little red dot on the front where there's the front for this and then a black dot here. I don't, I, they're not helping you that much being, you know, 180 degrees from each other, but it's not really that hard to do. So here, here is the outside of it. And when you twist, pull that down, this is the filter. And it just has very, very small little holes in it. So that's it. It's pretty easy to clean the filter in your Dyson. I'm curious to know if you even know you needed to do that. I did not, so I thought I would pass the information on to you. I normally do videos on design. I'm a jewelry designer, so I do videos on all kinds of design and, and including some of the bags you see behind me. I would love for you to subscribe because I would love to see you again and hope that you would like to see me again. Bye for now.